and we're back to exploring generator fill. Let us try out some text effects. To be honest, I think that the we Firefly is currently a better option, especially when you have something specific in mind. With generator fill, it's a total hit and miss. Let me press T for the type tool. I'll type an example. I'm very creative today. Let me try, maybe 100 is too big, but I definitely use this font here, brush, script, MT. It's inbuilt if I'm not mistaken. Then I press Ctrl A and I center it while I have the move tool active. I can use the top menu. Let me go to 80. Once again, Ctrl A, move tool is active. I put it in center. Now I hold Ctrl and I click on the T of my example text layer. This makes the text selected. I go to select, modify and expand it slightly. For my canvas size 5 should be fine. What works is when you want to apply textures and you've got nothing specific in mind, you can just type in texture and it gives you some good results. But when you want to have something specific like a wooden texture, at least in my tests, it didn't produce anything that's usable. But here the second one. It's not too bad. As I've said, it was just a random generation. And then you have at least one good result per iteration. Let me try metallic. This produced good results for me so far. But here, absolutely unusable. I'll regenerate it. This one's better. Other ones, no. You can see it's a hit and miss, as always, with this AI stuff. And Firefly does a better job so far. Let me try green grass. So I wanted to specifically create green grass in a selected area, which is the text. And this hasn't worked so far for me. It doesn't work here either. But by, let's say, by mistake or by accident, we have something that's not too shabby. It doesn't have anything to do with green grass, but we could use that. What I also tried was to create a specific effect, for example, a drip text. Let me expand this a little bit more. I go to 10 and now I've used the lasso tool. Add to selections active in the top. And now I left click, drag and add these parts to our selection. These are meant to be the color drips. And again, total hit and miss. Let me simply try drip and I'll make it color drip. And that's not that bad. A couple of letters are vanishing, which is a shame, but at least it did understand what I wanted. Let me try text drip with the same selection. Maybe a little bit, but you can see the letters, they become unreadable somewhat. And I also tried to use a smaller selection. So let me get back. I reselect the text with control and left click on the T, I only expand it by two, and now I create smaller drips, and I try it again. First try text drip. And here's the problem, you can see it, it doesn't even generate the drip anymore. Instead, it cuts into the text. Let me regenerate it using color drip. Didn't work. Instead, we get a totally different result. This would be the best, I would say, from the drips. So my conclusion, at least for now, is try Adobe Firefly, it's better. You can definitely try out the textures, as you've seen, if you have nothing specific in mind. Just let it run randomly and there might be something that you can use. But specifics and text effects so far, it doesn't work. At least when I've tested it, when AI gets better, it certainly will at some point. And maybe I'll find a different method in the future. I'm going to make a new video then about it. 
Not so far, don't waste your time. Try Adobe Firefly instead, or you have to do it by hand. Hope this video was still helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.